Are you aware of the challenges modern agriculture is currently facing? Our planet is home to nearly 8 billion people, a number that is expected to soar to nearly 10 billion by the middle of this century. This population boom brings with it a critical challenge, how to feed everyone. Experts estimate that we need to increase food production by 60% to meet the demands of this growing population by 2050. But the challenge doesn't stop there. Our Earth is finite, and the amount of arable land is decreasing due to factors such as urbanization, soil erosion, and desertification. The land we do have is often plagued with poor soil quality, making it difficult to sustain the high yield crops needed to feed our growing population. Climate change further exacerbates these issues. Harsh environmental conditions, including unpredictable weather patterns, droughts, and floods, pose significant threats to crop yields. Farmers are constantly battling these elements, striving to produce enough food while also maintaining the health and sustainability of their land. And then there's the issue of water. Agriculture consumes a significant portion of our freshwater resources. With water scarcity becoming an increasingly concerning issue, finding ways to cultivate crops more efficiently is paramount. Lastly, the traditional farming methods are often inefficient in terms of fertilizer use. In soil cultivation, less than 50% of the nutrients are taken up by the crops, while the rest can leach into groundwater, causing pollution. All these challenges make it clear that we need to rethink our traditional agricultural practices. We must innovate and find new ways to increase food production without further degrading our environment. We need solutions that are not only sustainable, but also capable of withstanding the harsh realities of our changing climate. What if technology could offer a solution to these challenges? Let's explore an innovation that can revolutionize agriculture. Have you heard of e-soil? No? Well, it's about to become your new favorite term in agriculture. This innovative word in the world of farming refers to a low-power bioelectronic growth scaffold that significantly enhances the growth of crop seedlings. A bit of a mouthful, right? Let's break it down. Imagine a scaffold. It provides support and guidance, right? Now think of this in terms of plants and their growth. E-soil acts as this scaffold, but it does much more than just offer support. It is designed to provide electrical stimulation directly to the plant's root system and the environment in which they grow, specifically in hydroponics settings. But what is hydroponics, you might ask? Well, hydroponics is a method of growing plants without soil using mineral nutrient solutions in a water solvent. It's a practice that's been gaining traction in areas with limited arable land, poor soil quality, and harsh environmental conditions. And e-soil is stepping in to take this practice to the next level. But what is this e-soil made of? The active material in e-soil is an organic mixed ionic electronic conductor. Sounds complicated, right? But it's actually quite simple. This conductor is responsible for transmitting the electrical stimulation to the plant's roots. The main structural component of e-soil, on the other hand, is something we're all familiar with, cellulose. Yes, the same cellulose that makes up the cell walls in plants. It's the most abundant biopolymer on the planet and it's what gives e-soil its structure, much like a scaffold. So to sum it up, e-soil is this fantastic low-power bioelectronic growth scaffold that provides electrical stimulus to plants' roots and their environment, enhancing their growth. It's made of an organic mixed ionic electronic conductor and cellulose, the most abundant biopolymer. Now that we know what e-soil is, how does it work exactly? So how does e-soil work? It's simpler than you might think. Let's dive into the world of this low-power bioelectronic growth scaffold. E-soil is an active substrate designed to stimulate plant growth in hydroponic settings. The main component is cellulose, the most abundant biopolymer, and it's mixed with an organic ionic electronic conductor. This combination forms a porous matrix, a perfect environment for roots to grow and integrate. The magic happens when we polarize the e-soil. In other words, we apply a small electric charge. You might be wondering why. Well, it turns out that plants react positively to this kind of stimulation. When the e-soil is polarized, barley seedlings, which are widely used for fodder, start to grow at an accelerated pace. The effect is quite impressive with an increase in dry weight on average by 50% after just 15 days of growth. And it's not just the roots that benefit. The effect is evident both on root and shoot development. That means the whole plant from root to tip 
grows faster and stronger thanks to the electrical stimulation provided by e-soil. What's more, this growth enhancement occurs during the growth period after the stimulation. So, once the e-soil has been polarized, the plants continue to reap the benefits for the duration of their growth cycle. Interestingly, the stimulated plants also show a higher efficiency in reducing and assimilating nitrate. This could have important implications for minimizing fertilizer use, which is not only cost-effective but also better for the environment. However, it's important to note that more studies are needed to fully understand the precise physical and biological processes involved. Despite this, e-soil is paving the way for the development of active hydroponic scaffolds that could significantly increase crop yield in a sustainable manner. Now that we know how it works, what are the benefits of using e-soil? The benefits of e-soil are immense and far-reaching for the agriculture industry. Imagine the ability to increase crop yield in a sustainable manner. This isn't a distant dream, but a reality made possible with e-soil. This low-power bioelectronic growth scaffold is designed to provide electrical stimulation to plants' root systems and their growth environment in hydroponic settings. The result? A significant enhancement in plant growth. In our studies, we've seen barley seedlings, a key fodder crop, grow within the e-soil with their root systems seamlessly integrated within its porous matrix. By simply polarizing the e-soil, we've seen seedling growth accelerate, resulting in an increase in dry weight by an average of 50% after just 15 days of growth. But the benefits of e-soil extend beyond just accelerated growth. It also influences both root and shoot development, and these effects occur during the growth period after the stimulation. This means that the benefits of e-soil continue even after the initial electrical stimulation has been applied. Perhaps one of the most significant benefits of e-soil is its potential to minimize fertilizer use. Our research shows that plants stimulated by e-soil reduce and assimilate nitrate, or NO3, more efficiently than controls. This means that with e-soil, we could use less fertilizer while achieving the same, if not better, growth results. Moreover, e-soil's main structural component is cellulose, the most abundant biopolymer. This makes e-soil not just effective, but also environmentally friendly. It consumes little power, making it a sustainable choice for modern agriculture. The advent of e-soil opens the pathway for the development of active hydroponic scaffolds. This could revolutionize the way we approach agriculture, particularly in areas with limited arable land, poor soil quality, and harsh environmental conditions. In conclusion, e-soil is not just a product, it's a tool for sustainable and efficient agriculture. It's an innovation that brings us one step closer to meeting the ever-growing demands of our global population, while minimizing our impact on the planet. With e-soil, the future of agriculture looks brighter and more promising. This isn't merely a statement of optimism, but a reflection of the tremendous potential this innovation holds. E-soil is poised to revolutionize hydroponic agriculture, a method of growing plants without soil, instead using mineral nutrient solutions in a water solvent. Hydroponics is already a game changer, with benefits including higher water use efficiency and less reliance on fertilizers. But what happens when we introduce e-soil into the mix? This low-power bioelectronic growth scaffold has the capacity to enhance crop seedling growth by an impressive 50%, simply by providing electrical stimulation to the plant's root system. Just imagine the potential yield increase this could bring about. But the advantages of e-soil go beyond mere crop enhancement. It's also incredibly compatible with urban environments. As urbanization increases and arable land becomes scarcer, we're seeing a shift towards vertical farming, an innovative solution to grow food in vertically stacked layers or inclined surfaces. E-soil fits perfectly into this new farming paradigm, offering a viable solution for growing crops in densely populated cities. This not only reduces the need for extensive land usage for agricultural purposes, but it also cuts down on long-range food transportation costs. By bringing the production sites closer to urban consumers, we can ensure fresher produce and lower carbon emissions. Beyond its practical applications, E-soil also provides a platform for us to better understand plant responses to electric fields. This could open up new avenues for scientific exploration and discovery, 
contributing to our collective knowledge of plant biology and its potential applications. As we look to feed a growing population, projected to reach 9.6 billion by the middle of this century, innovations like e-soil are not just interesting, they're essential. They represent a new frontier in sustainable agriculture, one that could help us meet the food demands of the future in a more efficient, environmentally friendly way. So, let's embrace the future of agriculture, together. Because with e-soil, we're not just growing plants, we're nurturing a more sustainable world.